back, my adoring public, to more Trails of Cold Steel. Feral Fiasco here. We last left off, Yusus, uh, we met Rufus Alborea, who's a cool guy. We found out that Yusus and uh, Fee actually have a little uh, sibling back and forth going on. They're not actually siblings, but siblingly isn't a word, and I can't say like brotherly and sisterly. Well, no, that works, but they're cool. Uh, but we saw this guy, Hassan Voltaire. No, we don't want to do his first. No, he's the bath salts guy, right? The addicted to bath salts guy. Level 15. Did they all immediately scale? Actually, I want to see. So I can take Reen out of the active party. But I can't. If Reen's not in my party, I can't have him be my party leader. Yeah, see, change leader, grays out. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't expect them to let me take Reen out of my party. JRPGs are usually really anal about using the main character, so that's pretty interesting. But no, we're not going to take Green out. Uh, let's see what Richard's got to say. He gets a voice, cool. Uh, can I even... Wait, I was... Okay, before I got distracted, I was checking to see if... Voltaire... Uh, books... Uh, quest. There we go. Addicted. To, yeah, Hassan Voltaire. That's who we want to talk to. Oh, cool. That's how I get through. What's up, Hassan? Excuse me. Uh, could we talk to you for a minute? Ah, might those be the uniforms from Thor's military academy? I assume that you must be the students Lord Rufus mentioned then. What's this all about? Lord Rufus asked me to give some work to the students, uh, to some students who came along here for some manner of field study, you see. Well, in truth, he asked my father first, but he's as busy as he ever was. So the request was passed on to his heir. In other words, me. Oh, that sounds rather interesting. Doesn't it? Now, take a guess at what I came up with. Oh, you're such a tease. Uh, might I have some time to think about it? Can we get this moving along, gentlemen? Um, so, what exactly was your request? You dare interrupt our conversation? <sighs> you commoners truly have no courtesy, do you? It's only natural to wait for those superior to you to finish their conf- Oh my. What's the matter? Uh, Lord Eusis, I had no idea you were here with these commoners! Well, I am. Do you still wish for us to remain quiet while you continue with this nonsense? Uh, of course not! We would never be so crass. I can't get used to this. Why couldn't he just stand where they could see him in the first place? Well, what is it that you're looking for? Your request stated that you want some kind of bath salt. Well, well you see, I'd like to request that you procure some pink salt for us. I see. That's a rather difficult request. <laughs> Fret not, then! I can change the request if you wish! That won't be necessary. A request is a request. Is it that hard to find? That's not the issue. We need to make our way through the canyon to the east to find it, much like we need to do for that monster. It's closer to Oryx Fort than it is to the city, so it won't be an easy journey. Oh, I see. This dude was willing to send us to our deaths for some pink salt. Why are they putting salt in the bath, though? Putting salt in bath water warms the body. I don't really care for it, but it seems to have some positive health effects. Sounds like something only nobles could afford to do. <laughs> well, either way, we know exactly where we need to go now. Yeah, let's get the request from the Artisan Street settled before making our way over there, though. Quest addicted to bath salts started. Okay, so they want me to get everything in the city done before we venture out into the uh, wild, wild, wilds near Bereahard. So where? Artisan Street. Let's go straight to Artisan Street. Oh, it says it right there in the uh, thing in the distance. Yeah, see that. Uh. Oh, right. The street seems kind of different from the others. 
This is Artisan Street, where craftsmen and merchants ply their trades. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what a pleasure it is to be here in the Verdant City. A city dedicated to nobles, which also serves as um, Erebonia's center of fashion. My daughter is quite a fashion addict, you see. She's so desperate to make her way to the tailor that she won't listen. I got my hands on some rare eastern silk at the Keldix Grand Market. <laughs> now I need to go find a suitable tailor. Only the best will be able to make good, of, uh, good use of such rare material. Uh, and yeah, you can see all the jewels in the windows. Can we go into these places? Davos's factory. Hmm. What's up, dude? Well, if it isn't Lord Eusis, what are you doing here? Hmm. That's quite the greeting. My brother made mention of the fact that you would be in charge of our Arcus. Is that correct? It is. I'd appreciate it if you didn't expect an old guy like me to get used to all this new technology, though. We are well acquainted, however, so I'll be kind enough to forgive such harsh demands. My apologies for that. Hurry up and tell me your business, then. I've got plenty of other things to be doing. Uh, oh, we can... We don't have very much quartz, though. Let's take a look at, um... What are we working with as far as, uh... These orbments go. Hers? She's got Soul Blur and Chrono Drive. Speeds up the flow of time for targeted allies. Speed plus 25%, move plus 50%. Hmm, I didn't expect her to have a support ability. Raven. And hers is Mirage. She starts with Thalus and EP cut. Art's EP cost minus 10. Interesting. Move 1. Move plus 5. And Needle Shoot back from all the way when we... Hmm. Machias has a lot of HP. Fee doesn't have super a lot. Sorry about that. We're probably going to end up redistributing uh, those HP plus 500s to Emma and Fee. Uh, Artisan Street. Who are we having to help out? On Artisan Street, put a ring on it. Short Bruce, Turner's Jewelers. Uh, that's Alouette and. We must have gone past it. Valenti Tailoring, Turner's Turner's something we want. That's uh Davos's factory. Turner's Jewelers. Okay. Who'd have thought the one with all the jewelry in the windows would be Turner's Jewelers, huh? Uh, what is this guy doing? Oh! I thought I was gonna let me talk to him before doing the other thing. So, what you're saying is, any minute now... Indeed. Uh, we shouldn't have to wait too long. Oh, it looks like he's with a customer right now. What should we do? Should we return later? Hmm? Judging by the uniform, you're... Ah, I see. Lord Eustace is with you, too. Welcome to our store. Have you come regarding the field study request? We have, but I'd ask that you please refrain from giving us any special treatment on my account. If our timing is inconvenient for you, we're quite amenable to returning at a later hour. Amenable to returning at a later hour. No, no, it's the opposite, in fact. We were just discussing you as it happens. Oh, right then. Wait, you were discussing us. Does that mean... Of course, if you'd allow me to explain... This is Bent, a tourist currently staying here in Berehard, probably at the Alouette Inn. He is the one responsible for the quest, the, uh, the request that brought you here. S see, I'm, I'm going to be getting married in the near future, and I came here to inquire about having a wedding ring made. The artisans of Berea Hart are renowned far and wide for their skill with gem processing, so it seemed the ideal choice. Hmm. So, you've made what I presume to be a substantial journey in search of the perfect ring. <laughs> it 
It's a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderfully romantic thing to do, isn't it? There's no denying the, the quality of the jewels one can procure here, but they don't come cheap. Uh, that's exactly right, unfortunately. Buying one of the local gemstones on my income isn't very plausible. And a septium ring especially is out of the question. I quickly realized how impulsive I'd been and had almost given up. But then I consulted with Bruce here on whether or not I had any chance of finding a good deal and he gave me a really good idea. Oh? That's right, a uh, precious stone might be out of his budget, but there are stones just as beautiful that are a whole lot cheaper. Semi-precious stones, if you will? The name's pretty self-explanatory. I suggest we make a ring for him using one, specifically a gem known as Dryad's Tear. Hmm. I'm not familiar with that one. I think I may have heard of it, actually. It's made from a very particular tree sap that hardens like stone after being exposed to air for a long time. And it has a translucent sign. Uh, translucent sign. Wow. <clears throat> Let me slow down. And it has a translucent shine to it that people say is easily the equal of septium. That's the one! I'm surprised you know so much about it. Guess you're an expert on jewels as well, huh? That's our Emma. <laughs> it's just a personal uh, personal interest of mine. So, does that mean the reason you called us here is... Exactly. I'd like you to go collect one of these Dryad's Tears for my client. Fortunately for you, many of the trees that the Tears can be harvested from grow on the North Kreutzen Highway. Dude, they are bent on sending us into these wilds to get to fighting. But, even though it only qualifies as semi-precious, it's still a pretty rare gem. So, finding one may not be an easy task. Well, then I suppose we'll just have to buckle down and look. It may be quite the challenge for our dear friend here. Uh, it may not be quite the challenge our dear friend has made it out to be, you know. Huh? A mystery man arrives? Who the heck is this? White Caveman. The innocent wood nymph's tear that you seek. How would you respond if I were to say that I saw one with my uh, saw one with my own eyes mere moments ago? But who's this guy? Do you know him, Eusis? I can't say I recall ever meeting him before. No. <laughs> Gracious, how terribly impolite of me to not introduce myself before speaking. See, I thought we were gonna get his introduction there, but no. My name is Baron Blueblanc. It is a true pleasure to make your acquaintance. They set it up like he was gonna get the title card, and then he didn't. From paintings, sculptures, and the finest arts to the most delicately detailed crafts, I am a connoisseur and lover of beauty, craftsmanship, and artistry in all their many splendid forms. I... I see. He seems a little... off-puttingly eccentric. But that's enough about myself. I hear you're seeking a Dryad's Tear. Y yes that's right Um, you say you saw one moments ago? Are you certain? My dear lady, I would never dream of lying about matters of beauty. I beheld the light which you seek on the northern highway. Of that I am most certain. And yet I must confess that my knowledge of the area is not so great that I would be able to share its exact location. Though, perhaps that's the way it should be. After all, a brilliant light has true meaning only when one grasps it with the, his own two hands. You, you don't say. His manner of speech is irritating. Hmm, so is the content of his words. <laughs> no, no, let's hear him out. Um... Well, we're certainly appreciative of the information. May I ask why you're telling us all of this, though? <laughs> Perhaps it is the spirit of inquisitiveness that drives you to seek a beauty mere Mira cannot buy. It moves me so, and being the generous man that I am, I deign to extend an olive branch. Is that sufficient enough reason for you? Sh sure. Well, we'll know soon enough if he's telling the truth. Yes, we need to begin our search. 
We can choose to follow his lead, unspecific as it may be, or disregard it entirely. I, I think our chances are about equal either way. Well, we'll be leaving now. Hopefully you'll see us back soon enough with the Dryad's tear in tow. Good luck! I appreciate it. <laughs> Good day to you. Quest, put a ring on it, started. Alright, so... Should I... I wonder if I should accept the quest to kill the thing while I'm out here? Nah, these... We're going to the North Kreutzen Highway. That's the Oryx Canyon Path. So we're gonna go to the Oryx Canyon Path first, then. Where is that, though? There must be a second part to the northern street. Oh, I can walk. Is it possible for me to dash, though? Hmm. I can! Check this out! I can't do it. Wow! I think it took me way too long to figure this out. Okay. Part one, though. Oh! Check this out. Okay! My turn. I've got this! But I can't use Machias. Hmm. Getting stuck in a place like this is the worst. I really wanted to get stationed over at Oryx Fort, too. Why? We don't really have any business out on the highway right now. Yes, let's stay in town. So I wonder if I have to... Dude, this is awesome. I wonder if I have to accept that request... the look of this city. It's so beautiful. Maybe so, but it's got nothing on Heimdall in terms of sheer scale. So Heimdall is like the the big city? I guess Berehard will be... Oh. Oh no, this is just a... Oh! This looks like a nice spot. Oh, for fishing. Bro, I'm not about to fish. How do I... Get over there. This looks like a nice spot. So I guess he's gonna say that. Hmm, I didn't know Reen was gonna point out fishing spots. How do I get down there? That's gated off. Hmm. Oh well, it's not important right now. Bereahard Station Street. Let's see what this place is all about. Oh, this is where we were at initially, I think. Yeah. Christie's Galleria. North Kreutzen Highway, Orcs Canyon Path 1. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh... What is she... Oh, they're reading a book. F that. Let's get some fighting in. North Kreutzen Highway. Dude. Even, the dungeon's even paved. I'll handle it. Let's see what she does. A double slash. Oh! Oh, she can do both. It's my turn. Emma my probably turn. has just as low of a chance. Hmm, so it must be Machias then. Come here, you little. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Single advantage. My turn. All right. So first, oh, uh, Link. Oh, Fee starts off with her S break too. What's hers called? Sylphid dance. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get a chance to see. We'll get a chance to see uh what the links are. But first, we're gonna do Sylphid dance. There go. Got him. Done. But we can't relax yet. Swift and sure, first strike, unscathed, triple kill. Oh, and Reen immediately leveled up. Oh, I've got some Sepith masks I can sell too. Right. Excellent. Hmm. 
So let's go ahead. We're going to trick out our uh, Quartzes really quickly. Mm, she's got one line open, but it has to be a Septium Vein. Increases the amount of Sepith dropped by enemies, but she can't equip that. Uh, speed plus three. I wonder if I... Oh, I can change this. I may as well. Hmm. What's she got? She's got her strength. Fee's strength is way higher than her arts attack. I think if I'm looking at that. ATS? That must be art strength and arts defense. So her art strength is garbage, I think. Mm. So we're gonna change this. EP plus 50. She does not need that. Unde uh, detection. Oh, that's useless too. Mm. We'll give her Luminous Ray since we've got Soul Blur. Oh no, we'll give her Luminous Ray here. Uh, the Soul Blur plus 3 here. So I guess Luminous Ray, what is that? I guess it might be untyped? No. These are like time, space, and, and something. I forget, but... Uh, let's see. What else do I want to put here? Well, let's go ahead and go through everyone else and see what we're missing. She needs a, uh, EP plus 50. Yeah, let's give her that. Thalus, definitely want to hang on to that. Mm. And we can equip whatever we want to Machias. Let's, uh, give Machias heal. No, because Emma can probably heal. We just, we need to check... We haven't even checked anyone's, uh, what they can do. We're gonna give him Septium Vein, and we're not even using Machias right now, so we're not worried about him. Uh, let's go a little bit off the beaten path. Alright, so now we're gonna have a real fight, rather than just... Oh, active voice. Oh, lake. <laughs> it looks so pretty. <clears throat> nope. Back off! I wanted to get that active voice, but I also want this thing to stop freaking chasing us. Ah, crap. We're gonna swing around. Get it! And get that triple advantage. Now's our chance. Let's go. Alright, cool. Okay. So first, let's establish some links. Hmm. Yeah, let's get them first. Sweep. Mows down foes with twin gun swords can unbalance Silphy Dance. Uh, and her arts are what we just equipped. Unleashes a beam of lunar light. Hmm. I can't even use sweep right now, so let's see what Why Luminous Ray is looking like. Here we go. Uh, and he is going to. Where's my freaking analyze? There we go. Arcus, Man trap. My turn. Rapid thrust. A series of three rapid thrusts, but we don't have his S craft. Hmm. We'll have uses just a uh, rapid thrust. He's not using a CP for any freaking thing else, so. Oh, we didn't even link him to uh yeah. to Reen. Crap. And she's got luminous ray too. Did I just set that up for her? I think I just gave her luminous ray. She's got Thalys, and she comes with Analyze. Am I gonna have to take Detect? I think I'm gonna have to take Detector off of Elliot. She has no attacks. No, what am I talking about, dude? Oh, She's got Luminous Raid. Yeah. Alright. Wow, it looks impressive. Huh. Not too much damage there. But we're gonna see what the Man Trap is uh, looking like. Boots of Fire, which is normal for a plant. Burn, that 200% status efficacy. Man Trap, a plant-like monster that roams highways, draws impurities from below the ground and attacks with them. No. Five, okay, so her arts attack is just really freaking low. What about Sweet? Got it. Cool. My turn. And we're gonna link with Machias, Arene, I mean, 
Usus, because we're playing as Rain. Boom! Oh, that didn't end My it. Turn. Overkill. Okay. Uh, can't you sweep again? So just a regular attack. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Her arts attack is low. So she's a slash. There. Ah, lame. Miss and killed with a counter. Okay, it's safe for now. All right, cool. All right, so we're definitely a little bit into uh, battling. Let's see what's here. And we got a bunch of, so we got Time, Space, Mirage. So Time, Space, Mirage. Gonna have to remember it that it's in that order. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep questing in the Northern Kreutzen province. That'll be next time though. So join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel. Bye for now, guys.